everybody, and welcome to Plymouth Congrega Congregational Church on this big Sunday, a special Sunday, the 100th anniversary of the building of this beautiful sanctuary. As people have been walking in, some have been saying, happy birthday, you look good for 100. <laughs> How true it is for all of you and for this beautiful sanctuary. And I introduce, would like to introduce to you Mr. David Bianchi, most of you know him. David has been the chair of our, of our Centennial Committee, which has been working very hard for the better part of a year, putting together all of what we've done so far this year and what we're going to do today. And so I'd like to invite David to come forward and speak on behalf of the committee. And here we are, 100 years later. Uh, the world is probably just as turbulent today as it was back then. But this beautiful sanctuary is still here, bigger and better than it ever was before. And think about the events in history that these stones have witnessed over time. A world war, the Great Depression, another world war, Korean War, Vietnam, 9-11, and these stones in this church, they saw it all. This has been a special place to so many people in our community. They've come here in good times and bad times. And for all those who came before us, who, who created it, who protected it, preserved it, and gave it to us, it's our temporary privilege to take care of it. were selected for color and uh, we have two different colors if you see the the yellow which I'm holding in my hand and then we have this here which is almost a blue it's a gray that's put in there and these stones are uh, as you can see on the wall they're attached together by a glue which is called cement the cement or the glue that holds the bonds the stones together was put in with a trial, a pointing trial. It was scooped up the cement and then placed on the stones, on the edges of the stones, so that it could build a wall. And this is the prayer that the children wrote and the youth wrote together, and we put it on a plaque that will remain for the next 100 years. And it says, Dear God, thanks for today, this beautiful world, my friends and family's health and safety, and all the things you've given us. Life is better with you and your love. And that's presented to Plymouth from the children. And last but not least, we have another gift. Now, you guys haven't seen this finished yet. You haven't seen this finished. So, now, not only is this just a beautiful piece of art, but the children, okay, I'm going to get to this, have put the stones on here. But before they did, they did something very special. Behind the stones, they wrote a word, a blessing, a prayer, their wish for Plymouth for the next 100 years, and then they put it on. So this will remain with Plymouth as long as she stands, and with it come the prayer and the blessings from all of you. Holy and eternal God, how lovely is your dwelling place. We give thanks for the faith of those who came before us, Hearts that yearn to worship in a place of simple beauty. Hands that created this house of prayer and praise. Loving sacrifice that persisted as stone was laid upon stone. We worship in the shade of tall oaks. May their perseverance encourage us. Their wisdom and strength inspire us.
on 1917, it's easy to forget what a tense and worrisome time this was for the nation and for the world. That same year, as you know, another important event took place, albeit in a much quieter way, but an event that in its own way, it was an act of hope and vision and confidence in the future. It was an act of confidence not only in the future of this then frontier city of Miami, but also, and is the case every single time a church is built. It was an act of confidence in God's vision of love and peace for the world. An act that no doubt made no doubt made God smile a hundred years ago and continues to do so today as we gather with so many friends and neighbors to celebrate. Each one of us, a living stone, beautiful and precious in God's sight. And each one of us, unique. Just like the hand-picked stones we are surrounded by on these walls today. They're all a little bit different. And each of us, part of a bigger wall, a rock is part of a bigger wall, not isolated and hiding in our, in our rooms, but part of something bigger in our lives, something bigger than ourselves. Oh.